Come with me up Moses Mountain, come and meet with God. Come with me to the river bank with the spinning wheels of God. Come with me up Moses Mountain, come and meet with God. I'm going by the definition that spirit-led worship is moving with the Holy Spirit in a flow. This can happen using set songs, written songs. It can happen using spontaneous um, worship. It can happen repeating things. But the 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 point of spirit-led worship is to tune into the flow of what Holy Spirit is doing, to get aligned with that, and to follow. Um, a good way to facilitate moving with the Spirit in a flow is to make space for times of open worship in the songs. Um, that establishes a launching point for spontaneous and for the prophetic. Okay, so that we want to create open spaces within our song sets that that can be a springboard to those things, but always have a landing pad. Okay, have a launch point, have an open place, but always know that when that thing has, has timed out with your congregation, that you have a place to redirect it, a landing pad to come back to. Stay thematic, so it's not a bumpy road or it doesn't, you know, it's not confusing for the congregation and touches on a whole bunch of topics. Pick one, two at the most, of things that you're going to begin to sing about, meditate on, instrumentally play into, but stay thematic. Be flexible and inquire of the Lord. He will answer. He likes this. So ask him, and he will begin to respond and show you. I completely um, agree with this. Go deep, but take the people. If the people can't come, then it, it's it's a wasted effort. It's You're going as an individual, and, and we've lost them. Bring the people with you. That being said, sometimes we have to press in past the comfort place of the people to push them and stretch them into somewhere new. And so in doing that, sometimes you will lose people momentarily. Sometimes it will look like a little bit of chaos in the camp. But the way that you, you, you test it, you sort of thermometer it, Holy Spirit, what are you doing? Are there, is there still a reasonable group of people that are engaging with this? Even though people are going, oh, what is this? Are they still nodding? Are they still engaging? Are they still singing? Even if it feels like like for a minute it's like oh where are we going you'll know with experience how to press them deeper and then when to pull them out again when to bring them back into a place that they're comfortable with and this is how we grow and advance corporately this does not rest on the ability or the talent or the propheticness of the worship team it's your ability as a leader to press them in to push them a little beyond and then to bring them back and then corporately we will go um Watch for Holy Spirit, watch for the body's response, and this will tell you. And don't be afraid to get it wrong. The worst that can happen is we have to pull back to the landing pad. It's fine. This is how we learn. 